KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Good Saturday morning to you. This is Scott Martin with the Weather Extreme video for September 21st, 2019. We only have two more days left of summer, but Mother Nature and the heat miser look to keep those temperatures in the 90s for at least the next seven days. Will we actually receive any rain this week? We'll get to that in just a moment. We are starting off with mainly clear skies across central Alabama as of 645 this morning. Temperatures were currently in the mid-50s to the upper 60s across the area. Birmingham was at 66 degrees. The cool spots were Gadsden and Pell City at 55 degrees. The warm spot was Bessemer at 68 degrees. No watches or advisories are in effect across central Alabama this morning, and it should stay that way throughout the day. Of course, with literally no risk of rain today, there is no risk of severe weather across central Alabama. Now, time to get to the forecast. We'll start off with the 060 run of the GFS valid today at 1 p.m. Ridging will be in strong control of our weather pattern this weekend, which will keep us dry and will be the driving force of pushing Tropical Storm Jerry off to the north and northeast away from the U.S. mainland. That means for us, plenty of sunshine and very little in the way of clouds, with highs reaching the upper 80s to the lower 90s across the area. Skies will be clear tonight with lows dropping into the lower to mid 60s. A few colder spots will drop into the 50s. On Sunday, the ridge does begin to weaken just a little bit, but it stays in control of our weather. That will keep us hot and dry once again with plenty of sun and highs back up into the upper 80s to the lower 90s. On Monday, we'll have a front approaching from the west and northwest, and it will move into the northern parts of the state during the day. There may be just enough moisture with it to kick off a few isolated showers and thunderstorms for the extreme northern and northwestern parts of central Alabama during the main heating of the day, while the rest of the area looks to stay dry. Any activity will diminish quickly after sunset. Highs will be in the upper 80s to the mid-90s across the area. On Tuesday, the front scoots farther to the south into the southern parts of central Alabama, which mean there is a potential for a few isolated showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon hours for the southwestern quarter of the area. Unfortunately, the rest of the area looks to remain dry. Afternoon highs will be back up into the upper 80s to the mid 90s. The front starts to move back northward on Wednesday as a warm front, which may bring a very slight chance of a few isolated showers and thunderstorms across the area during the afternoon hours but chances look very slim at this point. Highs will be in the lower to mid 90s. On Thursday and Friday, the heat miser fires the blast furnace back up again to end off the work week as we dry back out as far as rain chances. Skies will be mostly sunny and afternoon highs will be back up into the mid to upper 90s across the area on both days. Now taking a look at the tropics, as of the 4 a.m. update, Jerry has weakened back down into a tropical storm with maximum sustained winds at 65 miles per hour. The latest official forecast track has Jerry moving northwest through Sunday afternoon, then beginning a curve back to the northeast. While Jerry is no threat to the U.S. mainland, Bermuda is directly in the center of the cone. Conditions will begin to deteriorate there during the day on Tuesday. We also have three other hot spots out there across the tropics. The wave that will be moving off the coast of Africa is likely to become a depression or storm by the beginning of the work week. The tropical wave that is east of the Windward Islands has a 50-50 shot of becoming a depression within the next five days, but every member of the ensemble has it curving back to the north and northeast by Tuesday or Wednesday. The third wave will struggle mightily as shear will keep it from developing as it affects Hispaniola, Jamaica, and Cuba. No threats to the U.S. mainland at this point. That is all for today's edition of the Weather Extreme video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Our next video will be out Sunday morning, produced by Bill Murray. I'm Scott Martin, signing off for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.